आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ If we talk about this question, in this question we are asked to describe the structure of a seminiferous tubule, right? So first we will discuss what a seminiferous tubule is. So these are the highly coiled structure, right? It's a coiled structure that is basically uh, found in the testes, right? It is found in the testes, and it is the region, right? It is the region where the production of sperm occurs right production of sperm takes place right so if we discuss the uh, section sectional view or the diagram of the seminiferous tubule so here we can say that there are two types of cells present right the spermatogonium and the sertoli cells right so on the outer side the seminiferous tubule is basically lined by a layer of cells which is known as germinal epithelium right it is uh, on the outside it is uh, uh, lined with the germinal epithel epithelium right now if we move ahead so we can see here in the diagram itself that there are two types of cells present spermatogonium and the sertoli cells so first we'll discuss what are the spermatogonium right so basically spermatogonium are the male germ cells right spermatogonium are the male germ cells right so what happens is that in spermatogonium from the spermatogonium primary spermatocytes are produced right primary spermatocyte are produced right so basically what happens is that in spermatogonium meiotic division occurs that leads to the uh formation of the primary spermatocyte then these primary spermatocyte further undergoes sev uh further undergoes the meiotic division and forms the and forms the secondary spermatocyte right and once the secondary spermatocyte are formed right so we can see that here in the cases that uh, the uh, spermatogonium undergone the has undergone the uh, meiotic division so so as to form the pr primary spermatocyte then primary spermatocyte also undergone the uh, meiotic division to form the secondary spermatocyte right and then from the spermato uh, secondary spermato site by certain by certain differentiation and development spermatids are formed right spermatids are formed and from the spermatids later on these spermatids differentiate or we can say uh, yes so we can say that these spermatids differentiate to form the male gamete that is the sperm right so this is how we can say that the sperms are produced from the or developed from the spermatogonium through several stages of div cell division right now if we talk about the sertoli cells so these are the cells that are also called the nurse cells why they are called the nurse cells because they provide nutrition right they provide uh, nutrition uh, to the germ cells or the spermatogonium right they provide uh, uh, nutrition to the uh, germ cells or to the spermatogonial cells so that they can uh, form the male gamete or the uh, sperm right now just side by side to the seminiferous tubule right just adjacent or side by side to the seminiferous tubule there are present some large polygonal sh polygonal shaped cells right so the large polygonal shaped cells are known as the ladic cells right they are known as the ladic cells that basically carries out the function of secreting testosterone right ladic cells secrete the male sex hormone that is the testosterone right so this is the complete structure of the seminiferous tubule right class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa 
आज ही डाउनलोड करें डाउट नेट आप या व्हाट्सएप कीजिए अपने डाउट्स आठ चार सौ चार सौ चार सौ पर